So, in this video, we'll be showing, we'll be working on a data set. Let me show you the data set now. This is the data set, and we will be running a meta analysis on this data set. So, I said in one of our videos that that your type of analysis determine the package in hard that you are going to use and also the type of your data set determine the type of meta analysis package you're going to run so now this in this our data set we have the drug that was administered this study they are the names of the articles that are published for research. So for this first study, which is Carl et al, meaning Carl and other authors. So let me change these to authors. Authors for better understanding. So in this first article, first paper, that means the total number of patients administered this drug, the drug here, are 10. And the number of events, events could be the number of deaths that was recorded after the drug was administered. It could be the number of sources, maybe the number of patients that were discharged after the drugs were administered so there's the data set we'll be working on so let's go to our R studio to import this data set so we have been taught how to import data set we are importing an excel data set so i don't need to I don't need to explain this. We the data set is on desktop meta analysis data. So you can import so this is the meta analysis data. This is interesting so now we've imported our data we can see from our environment tab here you can see this so we have four variables and 13 observations so we have to load our meta package meta package so let's run this so because we are working on meta analysis so our meta package is running so looking at this our data set total and events you would have made your research and discovered that the type of meta analysis packet to use for this data set is meta progression. So let me show you. I told you that I love the under the last part of the interface we discussed there. So I'm under packages. We check packages, go to meta. So because I've loaded meta. Can you see the box is ticked? So let's open Meta. Then let's go to. I said we'll be using Meta Proportion. Meta Proportion. Can you see Meta Proportion is Meta Analysis of Single Proportion? Single. Can you see? Event is a proportion of the total. I hope you understand. So let's open Meta Proportion. Can you see that? 
meta perfusion event 10. Now, this first two are in our data. The event, this is the event, and the hen, the sample size, this is the total, the total number of the patients. You get me now? So that means we are going to use our meta proportion. So let's go following the meta prop, meta prop. So events was the name of the events. You have to type exactly the way it was events. So that means capital letter E. Let's go events comma then hen which is a total capital letter c to so, so the total which is uh, from our table is the total number of patients the study lab we don't need that in these are data. Then you have to specify your data sets. So data equals to what was the, the name for data here is meta. You see, it's here. Just enter tab. That's all. We have so many options over here. So many options. You can divide your level, you can divide your method for the for the meta analysis. Do you want it to be do you want it to be fixed or random? Different method. Do you want the predict do you want to predict? We have several, several, several options here. But now let's just look at what this will give to us. Now, we said our console, we always give the results of the command. So, the number of studies combined, K is 13, number of observations, 243, number of events, that is the sum of this. If you sum this, the, num the number of events, then the summation of this, the number of observations. So, this is it. Now, if common effect model is being used, that's the proportion you're going to get and using 95% confidence interval. This is it. And if random effect model is being used, can you see? Can you see that? So, for the heterogeneity, can you see all the results is given here? The test, the p-value, because we didn't specify anyone to use. So this is the details on meta-analytical method being used. See, this three, these are the details for the results we have over here. In meta-analysis, we always visualize our analysis with forest plot, bonnet plot, but in this video, we are not going to be going into that. The, this video is just telling us how to do the analysis. So now let's check if we were to specify if we were to specify so let's kind of specify make some now on the method we can use either inverse or glmm we can use either inverse or glmm so let's use that method Tab is equal to inverse. This must be double quotes. 
character is where I picked it for. Method is a character string indicating which method is to be used for pulling of one studies. Now we are going to use SM. SM which means summary measure. Summary measure. So it could either be plug it, pass, PFN, PLN or PRO. So let's use SM too. Let's go here. SM equals to double quotes. Let's use PRO so that there won't be any manipulations of the data. We are using PRO. You can see there's so many options, so many options here, yeah, so many options we have here. Yeah. We have so many options here. Yeah. So just pick. It depends on what you're looking for in your analysis. It depends. If you, do you want prediction to be printed out? Can you see? P scale. Your when you are making when you are plotting your graph. Do you want the type of text? Can you see? Do you want the text to be random? Do you want the pre for predict? Subgroup. Subgroup is another thing. Let's check our data. If we want subgroup analysis, that means we want this analysis to some to com compress the the authors the studies that use just this drug together that means if we're using this these two will be there this three one two okay stekunama is just how many drugs okay three yeah three so that is what subgroup analysis for. Another video will be made on how to do subgroup analysis. But for today, um, we are just showing ourselves how to do meta proportion because our data is for meta proportion because it have a single event and single number of populations. So in the next video, we'll be checking another type of meta analysis, but now, so let's check this out. Can you see that? So our proportion here now, let's check it out with the first one. The first one we did when we didn't specify inverse and period is common effect model. Look at this. Look at this. Then look at this. Can you see the difference? So that was why I said it depends on what you want to do. When you're running your analysis, you should have your objective, you have your aims, you have what you want to achieve with the analysis. That will determine the type of command, the type of instructions you give to the R Studio. Thus is the end of meta proportion meta analysis video. Please click the like button and subscribe button to enjoy more of this. Thank you. See you in the next video.